Good morning from my messy hotel room in Bogota, Colombia. Guys, I've been here all week exploring and mostly doing business because I have a damaged passport. And so I was at the Canadian embassy yesterday and hopefully in 20 business days, I will have a new passport to travel on. Now, Bogota, you've been amazing. But right now, this time of year, the altitude, it is gray, it is rainy, it is cold. I have not seen the sun in a week. And so I am hoping that since I can't fly, I will be able to take a bus. And so it's a very long journey all the way from Bogota up to the coast of Santa Marta. There are a number of buses. They also have first class bus services. So that's what I'm trying to do today. I'm hoping that they will take a screenshot of my passport as proof. Also, I have my driver's license as backup from Canada. I don't know. But if I can get on a bus and replace just this darkness for sun, sand, seafood, I will be so happy and I will not complain about what it's like to take a 20 hour bus in Colombia, but I will share it with you. There are lots of buses here. This is a major bus terminal. Some of them are regional and then some go much farther. So if you look at the signs, it actually will tell you where to go. Cause I'm going far up north, it's telling me I need to go this way. I think I got here at a good time because this, these are all the buses that are going further up north and they look like they're getting really busy. I'm here two hours early. All right, so I made it. It was about an hour long Uber ride. You gotta factor that into your travel time. There's a north and south terminal in Colombia. This is the north and my Uber driver was great and gave me some advice on what bus to take. Unfortunately, the only one available was Berlinas to get the luxury lower uh, seats. And so it's gonna be 20 hours. I want to be comfortable. Um, to book it was actually really easy. I did do it in Spanish. So if you don't speak Spanish, just write down all the things that you want to say and hand it to them. And I don't have my passport, but they did accept the photo that was on my phone, which was fantastic. No questions asked. So I'm going to head inside the terminal, look for something to eat because I know these buses, they usually stop off on the side of the road for dinner and also breakfast, but it's a long drive. And I want to make sure that I'm not hungry because there's nothing worse than being hungry. Wow, what's what I want to eat? All right, so it's just after lunch. My goal here is to actually eat lunch here. And then maybe it looks like they've got some good sandwiches, get some fruit, maybe some juice. And then I'll bring that with me because we should be stopping on this flight. We should stop at dinner. That's what we did 12 years ago. The last time I was in Colombia. Maybe I will ask. Otherwise, I'm not gonna have a lot of food. Casino, anyone wanna lose money before they go? I forgot when you get hamburgers in Latin America, it always comes more than with just hamburgers. So this one has hamburger, it also has ham. I don't know if it has an egg, but it has a lot of other stuff on it. And then they brought over more salsa. So this is uh, pineapple. This one is a tartar sauce. I don't know. I think that's mayonnaise and then that's ketchup. I want to try all of them, but there's already so much sauce on it. it looks so good. And then classic Coke, because here they don't use corn syrup. It's actual sugar. Cheese, tomato, hamburger. I have more cheese. What is this? Crispy onion, ham, more tomato. This is a burger. Mm. Not a lot of burger, but so good. All these sauces. I love sauce. This is supposed to be pineapple. Mm. Oh, that's sweet. I'm losing the battle with this burger. Look at this. It's such a mess. I'm making a mess. I've already used up all the four napkins that they gave me. So much left to eat. Hands are destroyed. I'm really trying not to be that foreigner that's like just so messy and disgusting, but look, I 
I'm really having a hard time. I think actually, I've seen this in Ecuador too. People keep the burger in the box. I think you're not supposed to take it out of the box. Amateur move, amateur. Looks like a lot of people like to drink on the bus. I've seen a lot of people picking up beer. And then we have aguardiente here, which is a sugar cane alcohol. More aguardiente. There's one that looks fancy. I don't know if I would want to drink on the bus. I'm gonna say no. So here's a very long one with Brasilia. So you leave Bogota at 11 a.m. and you go to Lima in Peru. So you're crossing through Colombia, Ecuador, and then Peru. That's a long one. I wonder how much that one costs. About taking on, I am contemplating taking more clothes out of my bag because I see people packing like down jackets. They've got big blankets and I think like just the sweater and leggings are not going to cut it. So I think I'm going to just take out a, maybe a few more layers. It's ridiculous to put on a dress. I'm going to take these two things just in case. I really don't want to be cold for 19 hours. Maybe these pants. All right, now I'm good. VIP salon. The best part about this is actually just being able to plug in right before we go. Even though I think I'm going to have a plug in my seat, you never know. You can see so much more room. Oh, oh, two seats on one side, and then I got the solo side. I didn't want to sit next to anybody. <laughs> you can see here, each one has their own, it looks like own TV. What I'm still looking for though is plug. I need something to plug in. Where does this go? <laughs> So here I've got more room than in an airplane. These are really comfy seats. In front of me, I also have a screen. It has movies, music, English movies, games, TV. And then also I've got lots of room. There's somewhere where you can put your legs. And then also whew, it goes back like this. So really good. The other really nice thing, and I hope this stays the same way, is that it's not Cold. It's kind of crazy looking in here. It looks like the casino, but I don't care. It's very, very comfortable. These seats are super cushioned. I think this is going to be a really good ride. Now, I did pick up some extra food before, like just before I got here, because I thought, oh, I talked to some women who I bought water from, and they said, well, if you're leaving at four, they're not gonna stop at five or six, so they might stop around 10. 10 is too late to eat. So I picked up some potato chips and uh, papa rellena, which I believe is potato that is mashed. And then what they do is they deep fry it. So uh, I am so happy to get out of Bogota. We haven't left yet, but I'm very happy. Good morning. So last night I fell asleep very early. Woken up at about, I think 11 p.m. That is when you stop for dinner. I chose not to go out. I had already eaten some rolls and things. But at that point, they really cranked the AC. And so it was freezing. I'm really glad I took out just a couple of extra things. I had like a dress that I threw over my legs. Everyone else had these big blankets and I don't know, I don't regret not getting one just for this moment, but I definitely had to make sure I was covered last night. I was warm enough, but just barely. 
So even if you're doing this and you have a towel, like bring the towel because having my yoga pants, my legs were cold. So I just threw something over top. Um, it's raining outside this morning, but you know what? I see tropical plants. And then we are in Bucaramanga. And so you see all of this ranch land and then behind the mountains, it's absolutely gorgeous. We only have a few hours left. This has actually been a really easy bus ride. And I almost hope that we don't stop for breakfast because I don't want them to crank that AC again. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, you're probably wondering, oh my goodness, why did you take a 20 hour bus ride? And so here's the deal. When I was in Indonesia, my passport actually got wet. So coming from Indonesia through the US into Ecuador was a little bit stressful because several immigration officers mentioned that I could have problems with this in the future. And so I decided I wanted to do it abroad because I thought it would be faster than doing it in Canada because it would be at least 20 business days. And once I'm in the country, you know, uh, I didn't think I would need it as much. So I came to Colombia because I thought it would be easier here. It wasn't. It was actually very upsetting and I hope it's in process right now. It'll take at most 20 business days. I will have it in time to fly back to Canada, but it means that I can't fly. National transportation rules are that you do need your passport. They kind of let it slide on buses, which is why I'm taking a bus, but I was a little bit worried about it. I am so thankful for this bus that I can take it. 20 hours, I'm absolutely happy to do, even though I'm cold. All right, this is what I love about Latin America. I was feeling a little bit hungry. I don't think we're gonna be there for an hour, half, two hours. I got these. He said they're called peluches. They've got cheese in them. So I think they're like bready empanada shaped bread and cheese. This was 5,000. So about $1.50 Canadian. So it looks like an empanada. That has sugar in the middle. This reminds me of empanada de viento in Ecuador because it's mostly hollow. I think there's just some sugar in the middle, so bread and sugar. For 5,000, this big bag, I'll take it. Maybe a little bit of pineapple? I don't know. Yeah, it's like a little bit of, there's a little bit of sugar in it. That's a good snack. All right, there's tourist information. It's closed. All right, so got my bag. Thanks to Visit Nova Scotia for giving me the lobster luggage tag. Makes it very easy to find amongst all the black bags. Now I need to get into town. So it's about 15 minute ride away. I don't see any taxis. I think I'm gonna have to go outside the bus terminal. The tricky thing about that is it's raining. So if they don't have a meter, this is gonna be hard to negotiate, but I've heard on our site, I don't know how old it was, that it's supposed to be between 15 and 20,000 pesos. Oh, learning Spanish pays off. So I talked to one of the women at the restaurants and she told me that at the exit, to turn the corner, there would be taxis and it should cost me 10,000. So that's even less. Hola, what is this? Uh, tengo que ir al centro. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Okay. Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.